Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chenya and in today's video we're going to be doing quite a bit. I'd like to warn you now that everything in this video is going to be very budget friendly and a lot is DIY since we just moved into this new house of our dreams and are not ready to spend a lot of money yet. I will start with a very much needed kitchen organizer which I made from a few dollar store containers as well as some wood boards that I found in the basement from previous owners. And then we'll switch to doing some cleaning, laundry, and decorating. So in today's video we'll finally get to our master bedroom which is a complete mess and after cleaning that very well I'd love to decorate this bedroom for fall but I'd like to keep it very simple, minimal and budget friendly. I think this room needs a couple of extra things just to make it feel warm and cozy. Since this far this bedroom felt like a bedroom to me and by the end of this video it will feel like home with just a few touches. So I hope you will stick around for some cleaning motivation today and some decorating inspiration for this new beautiful season as well as a bunch of holidays to come. For those of you who might be new, I am Jenya and I come from Russia. I've been in this country for over 10 years. I married my American husband about four years ago and we had two little kids. My daughter Anya is three years old, my son Max is one. We also have a cat and we might adopt another pet because we love animals here. On this channel you will find plenty of cleaning, organizing, decluttering, motivation and since just recently I'd like to add Add some simple decorating to that list as well. Simple decorating because I'm not ready for anything complicated yet. I have just started. I have been enjoying it to the fullest and I would like to explore more. So far I have been learning about decorating. I've been watching YouTube videos, reading about it, asking new questions and I'm finding a lot of information but so far I've been impressed that there is a few things that you can bring into your home that can make it really feel cozy, warm and beautiful. And some of those things are for example fabrics like blankets, then there is wood like a wooden decorative bowl for example, then there is pictures which you can do so many tweaks with as well as plants and flowers. I'm sure there is many more and this is just the tip of the iceberg but I've been mesmerized with this whole decorating business so far and I would really love to start making this new house of ours which we just moved into a couple of months ago feel more like home. But for now as you can see I started just painting those dollar store containers. First I spray painted them white and then I decided to apply some black ink chalk paint. I didn't have any plan for any specific designs for those containers in my head but I just started painting the way my heart was desiring and I think it didn't turn out that bad at all. Next I found a few wood boards in our basement that looked like they were left over from our entryway wall which is made in kind of a shiplap style and so I decided to use them as the base for the containers to drill or glue them onto these boards. So at first I wasn't sure if those black and white containers really turned out great because although I like them I at the same time know that I'm not an artist or a designer. So I just put together another similar organizer with different type of containers which I just painted white and I made my husband choose and he chose the one with the black and white. So we're finally going to get rid of this cage and put the organizer instead by drilling the boards onto the wall and then drilling the containers onto the boards. Although I am not planning to keep this organizer here for life because of course I would rather have quality containers rather than plastic, however this is all I choose to afford at the moment. So even though yes the containers are still plastic and this entire organizer cost me about 5 bucks, I still don't see a reason why I wouldn't spend some time and some energy into making it look as nice as I possibly can, even though it is a temporary organizer until I buy or build a new one. So I think this organizer would be better used for fruits and my garden vegetables, however at first I really really wanted to use it for my kitchen towels and rags, that's why I wanted to make sure that the containers are not see-through. Anyway, functionality in my opinion always comes first. So I decided when and if I find another place for my kitchen wipes and towels, I might as well start keeping my fruits in this organizer. Just a quick note, I was having trouble here drilling this container onto the board because I didn't know yet at this moment what pre-drilling was and why people would do it. My husband was at work at the moment so he couldn't help. I could have made this process easier with pre-drilling but now I know, we all learn somehow. I got my problems, lately I've been fading out, holding out. 
I bought this greenery from Walmart a few months ago and it was really affordable, something like less than $2 a piece, which I did cut one piece into many other pieces to decorate this organizer. And of course I could have used fall theme for this decoration, but this particular container scene was taken just a couple of weeks before where fall wasn't quite on my mind yet. I did mention to you guys in my previous videos that I have been organizing my kitchen little by little and the whole process took me about a couple of weeks and now as I'm putting them into my videos it's already fully on fall time at least where I am and even though I just recently took those videos the weather really did change so drastically and so fast so overnight here in the state of Georgia from summer to fall that it really seems like I took those videos forever ago. A few of you mentioned in the comment section below that in your area it's not really even fall yet. It's still summer and therefore you haven't even started decorating for fall yet. Feel free to let me know in the comments is it fall in your area yet or is it still summer? I would love to know how many of you are still sunbathing outside in pretty much October, but I'm sure that most of you are already watching the rain from outside the window and are through with all the fall decorations, right? It's all I'm getting ready to hear a couple of comments from you guys saying that I might need new microfiber cloths and I do use them a lot and they get old pretty fast. The last batch I bought was from Sam's Club and they are so much bigger in size that I had to literally cut them in half. Even though it is cheaper to buy them that way, I think next time I'll just buy the perfect size for me from Amazon. The top green branch needs to stand up a little bit. I can't believe I missed this part here, but I'll just hot glue them on next time. As we're done with the kitchen organizer for today, I'm gonna take it to the master bedroom and you'll see for yourself how much is needed to be done in there. Even though a bigger home can fit much more stuff in, I believe that the most important factor here is actually having an organization system in place, no matter the size of the home. The system that I haven't actually come up with in this bedroom yet, I haven't figured out what is gonna work best for me and my husband here. Things like where should I keep the laundry basket, for example, should I put it in the bathroom or by his dresser, which is here in the bedroom, because while I was keeping it in the bathroom, he ended up throwing things on the floor in the bedroom, where I stored a couple of baskets with clean laundry but not folded yet so it all got mixed up so I think no matter the size of your house the organization system has to be in place otherwise it's going to be a mess no matter what and some of you may say something that I heard quite a few times here which is well you have too much stuff so no organization system is going to help you since you're just going to be a slave to your stuff forever <laughs> and I hear you guys and I agree with all of that but not all of us are minimalists and there are so many definitions to minimalism as well what is a lot to one person might not be a lot to another and things like how many pairs of pants should people have may differ from one person to another as well as depend on their lifestyle. I love freeing myself from stuff from time to time. I love the liberating feeling that comes with decluttering and even though I just decluttered a couple of months ago right before we moved, I am planning to declutter my closet again this fall.
fall and I'm looking forward to it. To get to the point and summarize it, I'm not really trying to have a debate on whether it's right or wrong to keep holding on to the stuff that you don't really need, but it's up to the owner of the stuff to decide if they need it or not. If I look at somebody else's house and decide that they have way too many baskets, that's probably because I myself don't care for baskets and they do. They might as well have too many baskets, but what's too many? And that person with the baskets may look at my house and say that I have too many plants. And I would say, are you crazy? I need more. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense that we all have different perspectives on things in life. So like I mentioned, that white basket by the window, I remember putting clean laundry there and my husband, I guess, thought it was for his dirty clothes, so he just started throwing his dirty clothes on top. Plus the kids also messed everything up on top of this. So now I'm just trying to see which clothes is dirty, which clothes is not. So I decided just to be safe, if I'm in doubt, I'm just gonna have to wash it again. So after I do all of that separation of the clean clothes from the dirty clothes, I'm gonna fold all the clean ones and then I'm gonna clean the actual bedroom. I'm gonna wipe the windows, clean the floors, and then we're gonna decorate this room for fall, starting with me showing you how I made some of those DIY. I don't know if you could tell that my daughter dressed herself. Winter pants with summer dress, front side back. I guess that's how they wear it this season. I thought I'd mention this since you might think that I styled her outfit. I'm gonna end up re-washing most of the clothes in the end, especially my husband's one. It was just a mix of dirty and clean and I couldn't tell. I thought, well, I'll just wash it again and I'm going to place a laundry basket by my husband's dresser and I'm gonna make sure that I don't place my clean laundry in that corner where my husband throws his dirty clothes. <laughs>
My cat wanted to be the star of the show in this video, sorry about that. You'll see her again, she kept coming in front of the camera. I don't know if she can tell what I'm doing by now, if I'm filming a video or not. Normally she minds her own business, but this time she was in front of the camera so many times that while editing this video, the most time consuming part was editing her out of my video. <laughs> I'm gonna throw away a few socks there on the bed. While I was cleaning, for convenience, I was using the plastic bag for trash. Then I would throw everything that doesn't belong in this room into that white basket on the floor. And then I had another little basket where I would put just toys so that I can take everything out of this room all at once. And now this is the basket with the laundry that I have to rewash. And there's a child in it as well. <laughs> My cat, again, following me everywhere I move the camera. I felt like that wall next to TV needed something on it. I finally found the pictures I had been looking for. I didn't know where my husband placed them in this new house, but my husband will hang them on that wall by the end of this video. Of course, I don't have a bunch of stuff for this room right now since I am a person that never used to decorate before. I have a few wooden shelves for stuff and that's about it. I also have a couple of decorative pillows that came with the couch, like two of them. It seems to me like all the other videos that I watch always have a nice bed with a bunch of pillows on it and except for my bed but it's okay because it's never too late to buy some decorative pillows as well as build your decor collection i just might want to be careful with where i place my decor in the house since you've seen just a second ago how my son just dumps everything out of my drawer and that is his favorite thing to do and that is totally fine with me i believe this is just a stage he's going through and it'll pass and i don't want to be wasting this precious time while he's a baby or should i say a toddler and be stressed out over the little or even big messes that he makes, I'll have plenty of time to talk to him about the messes in the years to come, when we are able to actually have a conversation. Skill the 
Guys, I wanted to let you know that if you ever have anything to say to me directly, I would like to remind you that my Instagram is at from Jenya with love. You can send me a direct message or you can also, of course, leave a comment here under this video. You can share your thoughts and advice, opinions and suggestions. I love hearing from you guys. If you like the style of my videos and would like to see more of the cleaning, decorating, organizing and decluttering, as well as a DIY project and a room makeover here and there, I hope you don't forget to subscribe to my channel for that kind of stuff. I had one last little corner to finish and my battery died before I did that. Of course, that's how life works. So I'm just gonna start washing the floors and for my solution, I'm going to use a little bit of Dawn dishwashing soap, a little bit of white vinegar and fill it up with warm water. It's time for my daughter's nap time and this is where she takes her nap. So we're gonna leave the floors to dry and leave her alone. And then we'll come back here a couple of hours later when the decor is all ready. By the way, thank you guys. The ones who mentioned in the comments that my son was near the outlet, I purchased those outlet covers and I'm thankful to you for noticing those things and saying something. So the first thing I'm gonna try and do is a makeover of this face that I got from Home Goods. It cost me either 10 or 12 dollars, can't remember. So I'm going to put a couple of coats of dried eggs, which my husband also refers to as the pink stuff, but not quite the one that we use in the kitchen though. As it dries, it's gonna become white and I'm just using it to create some texture. After that, my plan was to cover it with paint and make it look antique, just like I feel everybody is doing right now with vases. This is my first vase of this big of a size I don't have any others all of my others are small from the dollar store or something so I'm really excited to make this face hopefully look beautiful and just use it as one of my first pieces of decor in this house This was the first coat, I'm gonna let it dry and now I'm working on the second coat of the same stuff. I think it dries in just a few hours but I actually gave it overnight so this is the next day that I'm doing the second coat. After this dried eggs dries, if it's not covered with paint on top of it, it's going to start eventually chipping off the vase a little bit when you touch it especially. So it's always a good idea, even though it looks good just as is, with dried eggs it's always a good idea to cover it with paint. The world was upside down. 
While the vase is drying up, I was going to show you real quick how I made the branches for this vase. This is the garland that I've been cutting pieces off of that I got from Amazon for $8.99. I used about half of it for this project, if not less. Now this project may look a little silly and I wasn't sure if I should include it or not, but I decided to just show you how I ended up with my branches. As I cut that garland into very small pieces as well as some branches that I just left as is, I'm going to paint them first with some orange paint. Then I'm going to use some metallic, which I really didn't have to, but just because I had it on hand, I was experimenting, I did that. Metallic color didn't really make much difference in the overall project, and I was going to use red on top of that anyway. So the main colors I used for these leaves was orange and now red. I'm only doing all of this because I couldn't find any red leaf branches of a decent size for a decent price anywhere I looked. And so next I found some branches in my backyard and then I soaked them in some vinegar and water just to sanitize them and as they dried I glued the little pieces of my leaves on the branches. As you can see I'm just using little clips to keep them together and then I'm using hot glue to glue them together. I could have used tape but it didn't occur to me until much later and when I used some to me it was a little bit more visible than the hot glue. I would say this project is worth doing if you're doing just a bunch of those branches because it is time consuming. One branch is not worth it. So the whole project ended up costing me about $15 including the two paints that I had to use for it. Now I'm going to place some tape so that the branches don't fall on each other and actually stand where I want them to stand. Now you may be wondering why the vase is still white and I'm already placing the branches in it. That's because I completely fell in love with the white color that it is now. I am still planning on painting the vase. I was debating on that for a while. And maybe you think that it's wrong the way it looks right now. However, I am in love with it, with the white color and this really rough texture that it has right now. I just wanted to enjoy it for a few more days until I actually paint it. And in case I would completely screw up the project, I wanted to get just another backup vase for the same kind of price, which which I already did and now I'm safe to paint it. Please let me know in the comments if you like the white color of the vase as well and if you want to see me paint it a different color. Now I'm gonna use some yarn to turn this dollar store pumpkin into a pumpkin that I saw in one of the YouTube videos. So I'm just using some yarn and some hot glue. I want to make it all covered with yarn but if I just wrap it around the pumpkin, the pumpkin is going to roll like a ball. That's why I cut the middle pieces out and now I'm just going to glue it through the hole. Basically I'm just following that tutorial that I liked and it's by the Latina next door girl. In the end, I decided to wrap it around just to cover those holes. I guess I made them a little bit too big. I also made another pumpkin from a yarn that's a little bit thicker and I'll show you that pumpkin as well. But the hole that I made on that pumpkin was a little bit too small. I guess it depends on what kind of yarn you're using. Now I'm gonna make about six braids and glue them around the pumpkin. That is the other pumpkin and I'm just gonna make the top for it or the little tip piece. As you can see, I'm using the air clay. I'm just gonna shape the little piece and then let it dry overnight. And then I'm gonna spray paint it. I first went with black and then I decided on gold. I 
I think this turned out quite cute. And the last thing I'm going to do before we actually decorate the bedroom is this lantern that I got from the dollar store for $5 from the $5 section. And I'm going to fill it up with leaves that I also got from the dollar store. I'm going to cut off that little pumpkin off the top because I don't really like it. And I'm just going to leave it as is. I think it's perfect. Now we're going to move into the bedroom to transform it a little bit by using these pieces as well as some other stuff that I have. So I'm just going to start playing around. And please remember, this is my first time decorating for fall and if you think this is not quite perfect and you could do a little bit better I would appreciate some feedback in the comment section below I can take criticism pretty well and I can actually learn from it I also wanted to let you know that I have been on the lookout for a big size lantern I am obsessed with that idea I have seen things in the stores what they do with them and how beautiful they make them look I know that people as well as my favorite youtubers decorate those lanterns depending on the season so anything that you can use all year round I'm all for it. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it, build it, or wait for a good deal for forever, but we'll see. I'll get one, I know that for sure. If you happen to be sitting there and watching this video and just praying for me to remove that cat food off of that dresser, I will do that. It took me a minute to realize that there is no working around that cat food. With my first visit to TJ Maxx, I got this wooden piece for $17 and I love it. It's probably for the kitchen, but I want to use it now and here. Another tip I learned about decorating is that you should always put things together in threes. And also if they still look lost, you can put them on a little tray just like I did right here. And I think it worked. Now I don't have a big rug for this room yet but I have this little runner that we have not been using since the kids trip over it. So I think this is the perfect temporary place for this runner and I'm going to use carpet tape to secure it to the floor so that I don't have to buy a pad for it. Also I think that red picture on the wall is a little bit too small for that space however I can correct that by adding a few more pictures around it as well as just replacing the whole thing with one big picture. While I think about my choices there we are going to enjoy life like this for a little bit and now as my husband hung those pictures on the wall I told you about before I am ready to show you the after pictures of this room As always, let me know what you think in the comments. Your suggestions, advice and feedback is always appreciated so much. I'll put a couple of more videos for you on the screen in a couple of seconds for you to watch next. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in a week. Bye bye now.